Are you in the market for a small yet long selfie stick? Plan on shooting with your phone, but might want to mix it up with your camera and don't have a big budget. Then the Ulanz MT44 should be on your list. Hi, name's Alex Train, and I do all kinds of short and informative videos. Smart home, ergonomics, lights, photo and video equipment. Check them out. You might want to subscribe since I actually use and test the products. What a waste of time, I know. While I still think the Ulanz MT33 is one of the best mobile tripods, but sometimes you need a bigger picture. And this is the largest Ulanz has to offer, with six stages giving up to 81.5 centimeters. Unfortunately, you can't tighten them like on some other tripods. Only the ball head itself and this telescopic thing are made out of metal, while everything else out of sturdy plastic, which helps keeping it light at just 270 grams. Fully folded, 26 centimeters. Not exactly something you will fit in your pocket, but it's still small and light enough to keep with you every day. The built-in smartphone holder combined with the cold shoe makes it almost ideal for impromptu filming or unexpected zoom calls. One of the first things you'll notice right out of the box is a textured handle that provides good grip even when wet. Furthermore, you can attach a lanyard for extra peace of mind. Unfortunately, this cannot be said about the phone mount, or maybe I just got spoiled by the previously mentioned and reviewed MT33. Not only are we lacking a quarter thread and an extra cold shoe, the design itself has a major flaw. This protruding screw, as it might scratch your phone. Yes, if you do it slowly with both of your hands and keep on the provider rubber tip, it's an unlikely event. But let's get real, this is not how it's going to be used. I already lost this tiny little at least three times, spending half an hour looking for it during one of my test shoots. Just give us the same hat as on the MT33. Or at least please make this one removable. And there's also one more thing you should watch out for. Due to its foldable design, attaching anything overly heavy might impact stability. Ironically, the ill-fated screw will actually save your phone in this scenario. But I doubt many people will be attaching big heavy lights or audio recorders. As even just a phone on a stretched out hand can get you tired pretty fast, as Yelena found out in just under 10 minutes. And while I used it with both, I feel like I was really pushing my luck with the light, as such a package is just a few grams shy of a kilo. At first, for testing, I thought I was using an inclinometer. But with the weight, the legs start to spread apart. Pro tip, holding at the very end negates this. If you have the biggest phone in the most rugged case and plan on using a light as well as a microphone, you probably need something more sturdy. If you're not that extreme, I'd say this is a great product. As for using it as a stand, the results were inconsistent. While it can hold quite a bit, probably not designed for your heavy DSLR. And with time and wear, it will lose some of its endurance. A lapel microphone would anyways be better suited since it's just too far away for a shotgun. In addition, you can cover it from the wind, well, unless you're using it as a stand. But then we have to choose, you want the lights or the sound. Having more than one cold shoe would really be welcomed. The Ulan ZVL66 that I previously reviewed is a great contender. If you need a light, the swivel design and lightweight makes for a great pairing. However you use it, there is no remote included. Not a big issue when doing selfies, as most phones have a wave to capture function. But not everyone is ready to bend the knee for say a nice landscape shot, especially when the grass is still wet with dew. But no water will stop me. Obviously, you can just buy one for a dollar or two. Maybe your smartwatch has a trigger function. Or look at voice activated apps. Instead of the usual YouTuber ending where you're asked to subscribe, like, and comment, which hopefully you already did, I'd like to mention the Ulanzi mirror device thingy that lets you, in theory, use the superior back camera while still seeing the screen. Hopefully, Ulanzi will send me one. Well, that's it, folks.